It is proven that pets can diminish loneliness and stress. They can help you build a stronger social communication, advance your physical actions, and give genuine love and attention. The warmth that we get from the animals is never enough. They are awesome friends when we need company, and they have a positive impact when we are anxious. Having a pet affects positively on our life and life length. All in all, pets can genuinely advance our lives, and show us how to care more for ourselves, and how to appreciate the time spent with them. Nowadays, not only the humans are a part of the photographer's jobs, the cute little animals are really loved and favored by the cameras with all the charming, natural movements and habits of theirs. The little baby animals are surprisingly adorable and will surely improve your day. Not just their physical appearance can make them charming, but also all of their inconspicuous behavioral features. If you are lacking your daily dose of positivism and happiness, Observing photos and videos of cute and funny animals caught in entertaining situations will positively affect you. So, here's a video about funny pets will make your day one million times better. By the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now, let's get into it. The Angora Rabbit One of the oldest types of domestic rabbit is bred for the long fibers of its coat, known as Angora wool which are gathered by shearing, combing, or plucking. Because rabbits do not possess the same allergy-causing qualities as many other animals, their wool is an important alternative. But all that fluff comes at a price. Angora rabbits are not for everyone. They require a bigger time investment than a short-haired rabbit. You are going to be spending a fair amount of time handling your rabbits for grooming. You will need to be able to move and hold the rabbit in various positions to get to all areas on her body. She will likely protest when you try to groom her belly feet, and face. She will not sit still while you hold her paws to trim her nails. This will require you to cradle her safely, so she doesn't hurt herself while trying to escape. The Grumpy Fluff Cat He is named Sir Lucifer Fluffy Pants, although we don't think he likes to be called that. The Alpaca The Alpaca is a species of South American camelid mammal. It is similar to and often confused with the llama. However, alpacas are often noticeably smaller than llamas. The two animals are closely related and can successfully crossbreed. The camels that most people are familiar with are the ones with humps. The dromedary of North Africa, the Middle East and Southern Asia, and the Bactrian camel of China and Tibet. Generally around 15 to 20 years, the longest documented lifespan of an alpaca is 28 years. Alpacas have been raised as domestic livestock for thousands of years, and since the end product of alpacas is their fleece, like sheep, they are classified as livestock by both the United States and Canadian federal governments. The Chow Chow Dog The Chow Chow breed originated from China and is often referred to as Puffy Lion Dog there. Their distinctive traits include a lion's mane ruff around the head and shoulders, a blue-black tongue, deep-set almond eyes that add to a scowling, snobbish expression, and a stiff-legged gait. Chows can have rough or smooth coats of red, black, blue, cinnamon, or cream. Owners say chows are the cleanest of dogs. They housebreak easily, have little doggy odor, and are known to be as fastidious as cats. Well-socialized chows are never fierce or intractable, but always refined and dignified. They are aloof with strangers and eternally loyal to loved ones. Serene and adaptable with no special exercise needs, chows happily take to city life. The Sheep Pig Mangalitsa is a breed of pig who are descended directly from wild boars. Yes, the Mangalitsa pig, a swine breed belonging to the protected gene fund of original and primitive animal breeds of the FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization, has been known to inhabit Romanian territories since the 19th century. The aim of this study was to compare the Mangalitsa breed with several European and Asiatic swine breeds in order to emphasize its uniqueness and to elucidate its origin. So. What can you say about this video? Let us know in the comment section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we continue giving you the best content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.